Roughly six years in the making, it's a major new addition for the Air Force here in Albuquerque, adding hundreds of airmen, all tied to a new specialized training unit. News 13's Bella Olage got a first-hand look at that unit today. She is live this evening outside Kirtland Air Force Base. Dean, the base recently welcomed its first AC-130J gunship aircraft, and you can expect to see it in the skies for years to come. Arriving last week from Florida, Kirtland Air Force Base is showing off the first of six tactical aircraft coming to Albuquerque, designed for training airmen. AC-130, the A stands for attack, and as you can see on it, we have uh, two weapons mounted on the left-hand side, the 30 millimeter and the 105 millimeter, and then we have a, a, an assortment of precision-guided munitions that we can attach to the wings uh, and the on the aircraft as well. Previously used in combat, the six AC-130Js will soon be used to train airmen in Albuquerque, making for a major new training hub at Kirtland Air Force Base. Our primary pur purpose is uh, just precision strike. That's what we'll be training these students to accomplish. The unit says it's expecting around 126 students a year to take part in the training camp across six month stints. The six planes will also include operations, maintenance, and support personnel jobs, making the entire new unit around 300 people. I'm jumping out of my skin right now. Uh, we have been waiting for this day for just well over a year. Uh, you can see the team behind me uh, all just so excited to get this aircraft to Kirtland. The goal is for the program to continue in New Mexico for generations to come. You're going to have 18, 19 year olds coming through here. They're going to be flying this plane and then 10 years later, they're going to come right back to be cadre and instruct the next generation of, of air commandos. So it's it's pretty awesome. That first unit is currently operating over Albuquerque skies twice a week, but at full capacity, you could start seeing that much more than that, that unit with all six AC-130J 130, aircraft expected to be flying in groups twice a day. Back to you. All right, Bella, thank you. The remaining five aircraft and instructors are slated to arrive in Kirtland by spring for their first class of trainees.